Hey, what's up gang? BC here and welcome to Monday Motivation. Today we're going to be talking about how to make tough decisions, but I'm not going to be bringing it to you from here. I'm actually uh, in my office slash studio getting ready to film the next book summary, The One Thing, which is an awesome book. But today's uh, Monday Motivation is an excerpt actually from a conversation that I was having with my wife and I as vocal coach and former music director. So I hope you guys enjoy. If any of you are facing dilemmas out there, hard decisions to make, this is definitely going to help you get over the hump. Be sure to subscribe here once the video is done and to check us out over on BryantChambers.com. Love you guys. See you soon. The one thing I tell people when it comes to making decisions, because hey. folks will do what Warren Buffett warns us against, which is sucking your thumb. Because most people are so afraid to make a mistake or I'm going to miss God if I make this decision. And what I think, one, they don't realize is God gives us a lot of leeway to make decisions because we learn from the decisions that we make and the outcomes. But what I tell people is look at it the way my football coach used to tell me is make an aggressive mistake. So in other words, instead of sitting back wondering, am I supposed to step forward and cut this guy off with a pursuit angle as he's running around the corner or should I attack up the middle? Do whatever you're going to do and then just measure the results. If you go in to make a tackle and you miss it, and this is what my coach used to tell me, if you go in to make a tackle and you miss the tackle, then kill the guy behind that guy. Like make an aggressive mistake. I go to tackle a running back that's trying to get free and I miss him, then hit the guy behind him and make him pay. It's like, whatever you do, don't stand on your heels. Waiting. And, and, I, and there's nuance there. That doesn't apply to every situation. Some situations require thought, prayer, meditation on the situation that's going on. But in a lot of cases, when folks don't have the answer, sometimes it's act and then measure. Because at the end of the day, it's, you know, life isn't this just straight line. There's experimentation and then evaluation and say, hmm, this, I made this decision some of it worked, some of it didn't work. Let's cut what didn't work. Let's keep what did work and keep moving forward. But unfortunately, so many people get paralyzed with dilemmas and decision making because they're so afraid to make a mistake. Mm -hmm. Or I guess the word right. that we so use a lot of time. Nothing. So they do nothing. And the word we use a lot of time is failure. And it, it's unfortunate because when yeah, you look at it, it from is. a scientific perspective, there is no failure in experimentation. There's just experiments and results. Right. So when I do an experiment, if it doesn't give me the results I hypothesized, right. then I know it's not a failure. It's right. keeping me on the path of right. getting to what I'm trying that's to get. Right. And that's that's hard to get through to people because they It's they've, a series of options. Exactly, and exactly. This one didn't work. This one didn't work, so you move on to the next, but you don't stop moving. You know, and it's unfortunate because we grew up in schools where everything was black and white and it's, did you pass the test or did you fail the test? You know, did all of these things that teach people, like I was working with X-Man today with his book and he had made a mistake. He, he, he didn't fully understand what he had read and he was afraid to say it because he knew it was wrong. I'm like, this is how you learn and grow. Say it and be wrong and then let me, let me help correct you with the right information from what you read. I said, but never be afraid to come down here and be wrong. This isn't school. You're not being tested. Right. I'm trying to impart knowledge to you so that one day, maybe eight, 10 years from now, you never have to work for anybody a day in your life, right. ever. You don't have to go support somebody else's vision unless you want to. Right. You know, and that's the, the thing that I'm trying to impart to him is don't let school and the system scare you into the, everything's gotta be black or white or right and wrong. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not everything is black and white. Not everything is right and wrong. Some things are. I mean, we can, you know, we can make a case for the things in the world that are absolutely wrong. Mm -hmm. You know, like murdering, senselessly murdering animals or cruelty, probably wrong. You know, there's certain things we can say black and white, we shouldn't do that. But then there's some things where the situation, you know, dictates that maybe there's more information we need to gather before we make an absolute decision.